Hi everyone, welcome back to Vitamin T, where biblical truth is essential for life change. A verse I'd like to reflect with you on comes from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. And this passage simply says, Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. You may recognize that opening line from Charles Dickens' book, The Tale of Two Cities. Remember reading that? Is not his introduction a great summarization of our times? You have likely heard the news or uh, observed interactions between people and that it absolutely astonish and befuddle you. Calamity, whether in the form of a natural disaster, war, or a pandemic, shines a spotlight on our character. Crisis has a way of bringing out the best and the worst in people, depending on what is in there to begin with. Some people exhibit new depths of depravity. They take advantage of people's hardships and search for ways to capitalize on the misfortunes of others. Some manage to say the, the most judgmental and hurtful things possible when they feel the stress of the times. On the other side of the ledger, crisis can awaken the sleeping hero within a person. The spark of goodness within them ignites into a glowing fire of service, easing the suffering of those around them. Boy, we want to be that, don't we? This is the essence of our text today. The disciple Peter wrote his letter to believers living in the crucible of persecution. Christians were pulled from their homes and families were beaten or murdered. And still, he admonishes Christ's followers to be sympathetic, compassionate, and humble. The Greek word for sympathy is sympathes. It means to seek understanding and thereby share in the feelings of others. This is especially true of those enduring hardships. To do this requires that we pause and listen to what people are going through. If we are sympathetic, we are able to truly hear and feel vicariously entering into the other person's suffering. As we do this, our caring ascends to almost heroic status. If caregivers, family members, and friends took the time to exercise biblical sympathy, we would likely eradicate the majority of our mental health problems in our society today. When times are tough, what is your instinct? Do you shut people out and become immune to their cries? Does a darker side emerge that seeks advantage at the expense of others? Or does hardship summon a new measure of greatness dormant within you? Do you seek to reduce the suffering of those in your relational orbit? Whether you are in difficult times, now or later, as human beings, our time of testing will eventually come. If you are armed with sympathy, you can make the best of your time out of the worst of our times. Thanks for listening.